Greetings and welcome to Lost Ark. I'm Catherine Skye and I have been playing this game all day with my friends and in our guild and it's great and we love it and I love it and I wanted to, if you haven't seen this game, <clears throat> it's an MMO but it's really a different kind of MMO. Uh, it's really fun to play with friends. It is much faster paced combat than something like WoW or Final Fantasy. It's more like an uh, ARPG at times. And I absolutely love it. Um, it is a dangerous game if you like skins or pets or mounts. Because there are many, as you see. And they are nice, as you will see. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you this game because it's really nice and it's kind of, I like the way they do the quests. It's very efficient. It's fun. And they have a lot of like random stuff, which is also fun. We're going to play my sorceress. She is a mage, uh, sub or mage, uh, over class, whatever. And then the subclass is a sorceress and, um, her name is Tanriel and I love her and she's cool. So I am playing on the European servers. That's why you might see a ping that is fairly high, but my friends are in Europe, so I play with them. And it is very workable for people living in the US. And of course, in the EU, it works even better. But anyway, um, I uh, wanted to show you what this game is about. So basically what has happened is I have, um, I have chosen her class. She's gone to heaven, a place called Trixion. And she's, she's chosen her class. She has decided she's becoming a sorceress. And yes, I know that high heel shoes are not exactly typical battle wear, nor is the shirt short skirt, but I like it. I love the ruffles. And check, she even has little bows on her sleeves and things and stuff, so I couldn't resist. Anyway, I am incapable of resisting this kind of level of rufflage. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go. We have arrived. Um, on the shores of places so we need to talk to so these um this symbol here the shield this like orangey shield indicates a main quest and i've decided that in this series i'm going to do only main quests so we, we kind of get through things quicker now i would suggest you do the side quests they are kind of interesting they're fun to read and they are but it's a lot for me to read um but they also are really like logical like as you move around the map the side quests really don't cost you at all so but because i have to read everything we're just going to do the main quests rough i think voyage, huh? all right so to porter maba says rough voyage huh so they do say the first line so i'm going to like not say what they say and we press g to move on and you know how sailors are they aren't exactly the most pleasant type well what matters is that you've arrived here in one piece so it's time for you to start exploring the land, huh? Be wary, though. The land lovers can stab you in the back any time. It's rare to see a Sylvain from Rohendel all the way out here. That place is pretty closed off. Here, take this. There's supplies for the true expedition. I don't know how dangerous this mission is supposed to be, but I hear the client invests quite a bit of coin on this adventure. It contains a special weapon that was specially crafted by Umar Blacksmith, so check it out. Okay, so I have gotten a new weapon. Um, and there we go. Let's open the chest. Open. All right, and we get a staff. So this, what she's wearing right now, is a skin. Um, I could take it off, but I like it. So <laughs> I'm going to keep it. And uh, as you can see, you can see, like, the stats. Uh, and it does tell you overall if it's better or worse. There's also a little arrow on the item. Like here, you can see the arrow saying, yeah, this is better. And you can see those green stats where it's better. Item level plus 10. Weapon power plus 6. So we're going to take that. But the look is not going to change because she's wearing this skin that I bought for her in the store. All right. But normally it would change. I guess we can look at it. So if we take off the skin for the weapon. So this is the original weapon. Oh, it's the same thing. It's the same like style. But this is what this the thing would look like on the character if we had the weapon skin off. But I'm going to keep it on because I like it. Anyway, uh, I have taken her hood off. She looked like a little red riding hood, and I don't particularly like that. I love her braids. This game has the most gorgeous character creation. It's nice. It's, like, really nice. And mages in particular are, like, elfin fae people. They have a variety of ears. She has, like, these downsloping kind of funny ears. 
um, kind of like a Lollafell a bit. And um, she, you can also have like um, these ears that are like a goat or like a like a sea creature, like a mermaid kind of ears. And my favorite are the butterfly ears that I have on my bard. They are really cool. So anyway, we're gonna talk to like Portamaiba again. I like you. The right kind oh. of eyes for this job. All right, we do. Yes. You can always sell a quality adventurer from some pretender by the eyes. People of quality are hard to come by in the Forgotten Land these days. Actually, this team here ain't so bad, so the treasure payoff must be huge. Do you know anything about it? What do you mean? Gurkha filled me in on the whole deal. I seems a priest from the Sacrian Order put out a huge reward to find a hidden treasure in Trua. There was a war fought at this place a while back. It was deemed unsafe by local authorities, but I guess they opened it back up again. I always figured anything of value was destroyed in the war. All these fighter types make me wonder if we're not walking into a... Well, wait, what was that? Uh, okay. Wow. Did something happen? Look at him. Oh, no. Help They're me. suffering. Adventurer. Okay, this is Morpheus. We're, we want to help him. Can, you bring me some water? Can we bring him some water? Alright, let's go collect some water. One thing I really like about this quest is like, wow, is like, gather 83 eyeballs and you have to kill like 150 things to gather 83 water. eyeballs. And I was like, what is all those animals not doing with eyeballs? It's, it's rough. Sweet water. Oh, that's much better. Thank you very much. I had no idea seasickness could be this bad. I had a hunch you were a kind soul. I'm glad I was right. May I have your name, kind adventurer? Tanriel. Oh, Tanriel, quite a unique name. I definitely won't forget that one. I am Morpheus, a priest of Sacria. I'm seeking the hidden treasure beneath this ancient city of Trua. Treasure? Question mark? Ah, it seems you haven't heard from Gurkha. Allow me to fill you in on the details. Archaeological data deciphered by the church has revealed that this land contains the last treasures of the prophet. The news has resulted in many adventurers joining the hunt, though nothing has been found yet. More and more people are hearing about a land of gold and opportunity, which means the church has had to act fast if it wanted to find the treasure. The church decided to hire many skilled adventurers to explore this land on their behalf. They also decided to send priests such as myself to oversee things. I didn't think I would be selected for such a dangerous job, but... Oh, look, that one over there is Gurkha, who leads the expedition. Gather round. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right, let's go. Sure. Hello? Pick up the pace. Get moving. All right. I'm the captain of the Trua expedition. Call me Gurkha. I'm sure you're all aware, but Trua was an ancient city destroyed by the war long ago. We only have one mission in this cursed land. It is to find the treasure requested by the priest by following the clues left behind in the ancient city. All of you are expendable. If you do anything foolish or cause trouble, I will not hesitate to leave you behind. These are the maps made by the advance party. Press tab. Okay, yep. To access your map, it does give you an overview map. Okay, thank you very much. Tutorials. Okay, check the map. All right, so let's talk the to him again. The party that came first said they had finished exploring the area, but there was nothing to gain. How useless. Starting today, we're going to explore the deeper regions of this land. And I must warn you, if you don't report any treasures or suspicious clues you might find, you'll be in deep. Hold on, that overwhelming scent. Some sort of creature is near. Be on guard. Okay. So I have no idea what my spells do. I haven't read them yet, so I need to I need to read them. Um, one thing that they did is that they have removed a couple of classes from the beta, like we had the summoner before, but that one is coming later. I played the summoner in the beta, and I also played the deathblade. Um, so I haven't played the sorceress yet. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies. Holy fuzzy cats. Yeah, I'm in my, like, Let's Christmas outfit ball. here. <laughs> Let's just kick some monster butt here. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we'll read our spells first before we do anything. All right, so Blaze is creates a rectangular flame forward. Let's just play these skills out. Okay. Boom. Nice. W is fires a concentrated magical bullet that pierces the foe in front, inflicting 189 damage when an additional... Still key is pressed. It fires again. Oh. Okay, I can press it uh, two times. 
E is looking like that. It is Lightning Vortex. Creates a spherical lightning within 20 meters of the cursor location for 3 seconds for a total of 921 damage. On hit, the foe is pulled to the center. Oh, that's nice. Okay, to pull... It kind of like gathers them up, I guess. It's like a vortex. All right, so Frost Call causes a cold snap at the cursor location within 12 meters. Inflicts a total of many damage uh, for uh, over nine times for up to four seconds. That is crazy good. Okay, wait, well, that's that again? Okay, we couldn't really see that very well. R. Whoosh. That was... Oh. You know what? I think I have to... Oh, I have to channel it. There we go. I We have to press and hold. Some of the skills are like that, where you have to stand and channel them. Okay, Squall. Uh, that's on A. Creates a powerful whirlwind in front, inflicting three hits uh, for 469 damage, and then pushes foes back while inflicting 469 damage. Interesting. Nice. Okay, Seraphic Hail. A huge wave is created, covering the foes in front and inflicting many water damage. While the enemy is in the air, it will be launched up again on hit okay so we have many elements here many like pushback kind of things we need to keep in mind that frost's call is our massive damage spell oops that's the wrong key that's this one again lots of massive cool stuff can we i guess we can do that far away but the rest of them are definitely you know you have to be careful where your positioning is basic attack is c all right and that's also on the right mouse button. You have a basic attack and you move with the left mouse button. Oh boy, okay. All right, let's just go, where are we going here? Q, let's do a Q. Oh, okay, whoopsies. I'm gonna try to do some other stuff. Now you can skip this prologue, by the way. You don't have to do it. Okay, we're just testing things out. Monster testing ground, hooray! Alrighty, let's do an R where we have a lot of enemies. Dead, wow, that was quick, jeez. And of course you can choose your favorite amongst all of these skills as you like. Now, these are not all the skills the sorcer sorceress has. Uh, she also, I wanna try the vortex. Nice, beautiful. As you level up, and I'll show you this, as you level up, you have many, many skills. You can see all of these here. Um, I don't know exactly how many there is, probably like 20. Let's see how many, one, two, we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 skills. So you can only have eight on your hop bar, but you can mix and match them any way you like. Um, each skill also has um, higher levels. So when you get skill points, which we don't have any now, they appear here, you uh, can choose different affixes that you want on your skills. Like this one is ignite on hit burns foe inflicting 16 damage every one second for five seconds. So it's kind of like a, it's a burn thing. Then we have on hit damage foes from all party members plus 6% for eight seconds. Uh, this one is mind enhancement magic point cost uh, or mana point minus 50%. So it's cheaper. I probably would choose Ignite because, you know, if they don't die initially, then just kill them off with Burn. But we, we need four points in that skill to get there. So far, I'm really liking the fire thing. Hey, Gurga. I need to hear about the roots of approach from the advanced party's investigation. We'll have to hurry to find it ourselves. Only those who are not seriously injured will be treated and go together. Hey, Priest, you can do that, can't you? Maybe. Okay, uh, where's Priest? Sure. Of you course. are quite terrifying <laughs> please put down the knife don't worry i don't have a knife i came here on the condition that i would not be a burden so i've got to do my job too right but i could use a little help tenryo would you be able to give me a hand okay hey let someone else tend to the priest we should be searching the surroundings yeah okay so let's talk to this adventurer and see what they say treating the wounded thank you it's not a serious See, no, that's a, that's quest completion. We we fixed one guy and it's done. It's very like representative. You don't have to like gather 150 like eyeballs or whatever or pick up 
10 things at the dark moon fair you just have to do one thing usually or like pick up you know two items or something it's really not hard so okay we got the tent um and it feels better like in this in this game there's a thing where you're supposed to build a structure you are literally supposed to carry a block from like here to over here and put it down it's like laying the cornerstone WoW has you, like, building the whole tower and furnishing and decorating the Darren thing, so, yeah. I think yeah. it's already too late for these people. Why do you think that? And the danger has not yet passed. If we don't prepare for what comes next, we'll lose our lives just like them. Tanriel, this is an HP potion I bought, brought from the Order. Only use it when you are in danger. The red bar at the bottom of your screen indicates your HP. If you run out of that, you won't be able to continue your adventure. Okay, hot key slot. All right, we're going to move that. Gave some the potion. I like to have it on six because I have V and five for other things. Right. Okay, so let's... Oh, not ready to get out of here yet. The okay. Is important, but making it out alive is what truly matters. Make good use of that potion. Thank you, Morpheus. You definitely have potential based on how you took down those trolls without breaking a sweat. You, you darn right. I ain't gonna sweat in these clothes. They do not go to the laundry. Forget it. Those are some pretty great combat skills you're using, Tanriel. Uh, combat skills? Huh? She doesn't know what those are? Yes, they're special skills that adventurers use during combat. Since everyone walks into battle in their own unique style based on their class or virtues. Keep things fresh by checking what's available. La -da 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 -da. You know how to manage them. Yes, I know everything. Goodbye. Sounds like you got everything figured out. Before you start the expedition, check your combat skills and think about which ones are best. We already did that. Thank you. We already did that. Go away. Go away. All right. We Hello, Morpheus. What's gonna happen, so, so this is a tour tutorial if you haven't seen it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Haven't figured it out yet. I feel exhausted and the exploration hasn't even started yet. At least Gurkha seems very passionate and full of greed. Ha! Huh. I heard Gurkha's a good explorer, so he should find a way to the old city soon, right? I don't know if we'll actually find treasure worth as much as Gurkha's dreams. None of the information we have mentions its true value. It could be something extremely dangerous, or it could be just ordinary rock. Could even have something to do with the Arks. The Arks? The Arks? Fabled artifacts of great power. Most people believe they're a myth. But the church takes ARC research very seriously. This is a secret, but we're guessing the prophet's treasure we're looking for may have to, a clue to the ARC. Oh, I think I found something over there. Or this we found way. something over there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Everyone gather up. We are going to break through the barrier and advance. Yes, we are going to advance. Hooray. Okay, nice. We have found boats. <laughs> we have found boats. It is believed the ruins of Trua are protected by the gods. This is nice, though. I love the atmosphere. It's so beautiful. Between traps and, and the music. Ceilings, we should be careful. Mm, all that water. Look at this beautiful place. That's one thing I really love about this game is the environment is so nice oh, to be in. These giant it's great. statues were built in the image of the gods. Regulus himself created the Ark, the ever-burning light of creation. The Ark contains great power. The power to create and the power to destroy. Just like a god. Her braids are a tiny bit stiff, I see. Out its location. Oi! Oh. You gonna flap your gums all day, priest? Oh. He's right. We should be quiet. <sighs> also, one thing you'll note is, like, the fashions, especially for women, are kind Look. of... Lots of skin showing, especially around the chest area and the legs and stuff, and I don't really like that. I liked this dress because it has ruffles for days and days and days, 
But I wish it was longer Wait, skirt. Because, I mean, during when she was sitting, normal. you could, like, see up their skirt. It's horrible. Um, seems but, like we're on the right yeah. track. Follow me and watch your step. But I did like that her chest is covered. Like, you can see it's got, like, this ruffly stuff where most of it, it, it exposes the top part of the chest. And it's like, eh. Not to my taste, for sure. I don't like half-naked people going to battle. It doesn't make sense to me. However, um, I did like this outfit because of the ruffles for days. It has them. So we're just going to go with that. Also, this is in uh, isometric view. Um, but I quite like that. So, oh, whoops. Whoopsies. Oops. I keep doing one, two, three, four. Um, and I guess maybe I should change it to one, two, three, four. Oops. There we go. And you can see the hot, the, um, the health bars. The enemies, especially the, um, uh, the bosses, they have, like, multiple stacked health bars. Oh my god, whoopsies. Hello. Let's do an E. Anybody left? No. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that wave is pretty nice, too. Alright, let's keep on... Oh! Oh, I have to kill stuff. Darn it. Apparently I'm not allowed to escape! I have to kill everything! <laughs> I can't you the bridge. Well, what Whoops. about the others trapped on the other side? Yeah, what about me? Hello? Don't I'm here. Uh, look at these please. flowers, are they? You oh, excuse me. Hello? Flowers? Pretty? Nice? Oh my god, she's like doing the dance thing. Anyway, it's just so detailed, this landscape. It's really nice. Block the troll raid. Take them out. All right, we're working on it. Thank you. Dead. Okay. And are we done? I think we're done. And you also get arrows where there's places like where you can jump off. And that's what we're going to do right now. Look at this area. It's so pretty. And I love how they like don't jump like perfectly. Apparently they have issues with this. Okay. Uh, also, each of the characters does... I believe every one of them has a, a quick... Uh, dash skill like this kind of like a teleport she's got a teleport some of them have a different dash hers has a very a little bit of an annoying sound I didn't know that but the other ones are quite nice I'm playing a bard right now and a paladin and they are really fun I was just making a rational decision to save everyone you made it out alive didn't you as for you you are faster than I thought you'd be you could be useful later on when all is done, I'll take your actions into consideration when we divide up the compensation. Ha ha, but don't get too cocky. It's not over yet. Any casualties? Nope. None. Good. That, and then we should continue. Sorry, I read that with weird accents. This seems like the entrance to the city. Let's go. All right. Okay. Look into stuff. Talk to Gurkha again. When in doubt... Blow it up. I see your strategy. Neil, bring me the demo equipment. Give it to Tanriel here. Listen, Tanriel. Set this up within the crack over there and then run like hell. You're the fastest one here, so you have the best chance of getting clear of the blast. Just don't stop running un unless you want to join that door and getting blown sky high. Run as okay. fast as you can. Once okay, now we gotta talk up. to Neil. Receive the bomb. That thing goes off fast. I hope nothing goes wrong. Okay, set up with G, and then run! Okay, so you, this is, you know, you get this lovely telegraphing when you have danger most of the time. Um, so yay, we're gonna stand here now. Uh, escape, we did escape. Good, but it didn't do much. Even the explosion didn't take it out, okay, hmm. Damn, that stone ain't gonna budge. Nope. Is there another way? Come on, folks. You're magic. Let's go. Oh, look at this. We are special. We is special. Ruffles for days, like I said. And bows. We got the bows all cleared out. Oh, this is so nice. Look how pretty, like, that sparkly stuff in the air it's that was. Open. Wasn't that amazingly? Amazing? It was like, like, glittery fireworks. It was fantastic. What is this? What just happened? 
Did you open up the entrance to the collapsed ruin, Tanriel? Lights appeared and the door opened. Lights? I didn't see anything. Neither did anyone else. Seems like Tanriel just opened the door. I'm not sure what happened, but something strange is going on here. The faintly written letters on the door. I couldn't read it precisely, but it talked about waiting for a chosen one. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm glad you're here, Tanriel. We better get a move on, huh? Alright, quest complete. So, we need to go through. Anything on the map, we kind of just follow where, where it goes. It's very easy to navigate. What? That fool priest. I came all the way here, and we found nothing. Look at those sparklies. They're gorgeous. Are you sure there was an old city here? No city, no treasure. It's like nothing but dead ends every time. Are we even going to get paid, or is this not real like everything else? Okay. Well. <laughs> Calm down. You will be well compensated. We're gonna try. <sighs> no. Don't walk too far, girly. Don't fall down. Wow, look at this. Awesome! That's beautiful. I like those pathways. There's a bit of Path of Exile that kind of reminds me of these walkways like that. It's fantastic. Wow. Dang. Also, full disclosure, that I was not sponsored to play this game. I was not given anything for free. I bought into this game. Um, I bought several Founders Packs because I wanted all the pets and stuff, uh, and I I love I every moment of it. Honestly, I love every moment of it. It's so good. So, hey, yeah. For me. Okay, we can press Tab for the map. Yay! We can see it on the mini-map. No need for the overview. Okay, check the tightly shut stone gate. Why isn't it opening? Neil, get me the explosives! Yeah, him and his explosives. I can open it up. There must be a secret device that could open the shrine somewhere. Hmm. Let's find it together. Okay, looks like this is a thing. Right, what do we do with it? Find something that can operate the secret device. Alrighty, let's go over here and find this thing. Sure. Raise the fallen statue. Okay. Oh, we go back over here. Look on the mini map. I feel like turning down the sound effects a tiny bit because I don't like her dash, and we're gonna dash a lot. Oh wait, what are we doing here? Sparkly, sparkly. Check the key of light. There we go. It's become clickable. It will have like a little like Looks light like spark on top of problem. stuff like this little sparky thing if you can do stuff with it usually. Alright, let's go. You might see also that my combat level is 10 and my roster is level 4. That means I have other characters that have generated XP for me. Uh, because this game has a little bit of like... Uh, if you play on your on characters, it benefits the other characters with some passive bonuses uh, to help it, you know, help your alts level up and stuff like that. There's also kind of a cool thing there. There's like a knowledge transfer. I probably won't use that, but I like the idea of like, once your character is max level, um, you can get other characters, like brand new characters, and transfer knowledge to raise them to that max level. I think it takes like eight hours, but you can just do that with them if you want to kind of boost them within the game. But I think it's like, it costs gold in the game. It's not like a premium currency thing. Um, so it's kind of, oh my god, what did we do? This still doesn't look Whoa. good at all. Demons! Demons! Oh no! No, no, no! Stop choosing the wrong keys! Damn it, girly! Okay, we're, we're killing them. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Arr! Oh boy. I'm waiting for cooldowns, man. I'm just like waiting for them. 
There we go. Okay. Woo. We Whoa. Wow. Died. Screw the contract. Let's grab what we can. Th that wasn't the deal. Hmm. The guy with the sword makes the rules, kid. Grab the stone. It looks valuable. <sighs> Uh-huh. Looks magically in place as well. No, don't touch it. Dudes, come on. You done bad things now, man. Get away. Stop. It's a trap. Help me! Mm. I think we should save him. We're magical after all. Please! Don't let me die! Get back! Whoa! Morpheus, dude! Shoot. Wow. This greed would have killed you both. I don't think he could move. I feel like his feet had already turned to stone. Stand back. Oh. Well then. Where does this road lead to? That's a road? There's just two of us now. Oh wow, everybody else died? Wow. I know this sounds crazy, but I keep thinking we're being watched. Dangerous traps, demon attacks, and even human greed. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into now. I am looking to find out more. I'm looking forward to finding out more. I hope we can make it to the end together, Tanriel. Okay. I guess we go. Clonk. I love her braids. The hair in this game is amazing. It is so good. Which way should we take? All right, let's follow the light. Also, I think I need to... I don't know if I can equip a pet yet. I think I can. So I'm just going to do that because I keep on forgetting. I bought her a pet. So this is the pet, this rabbit. This is the pet you get in the game. And all of the pets have exactly the same stats. So none of them are superior uh, in any way. But I bought her this one, the Happy Totoiki. Um, these are the cats that you get with the Founders Packs, by the way. Um with a founders pack with one you get to choose one skin however i bought three founders packs so i could have all three skins um it just depends on what's important to you so um and they also have functions the pet functions i don't know if we can see this i know in a bigger way they have remote mail they have auction house and market remote storage pet inventory remote repair and more remote repair uh, gem functions i haven't unlocked a lot of these things because i'm not high enough level on my other characters but we're going to summon the totoiki and if we click it it's i think it's control right click you get a tiny menu and go to pet functions here is my inventory this is the same as the storage in town these is my this is my roster storage like for all of my characters can access all of this this is personal storage and this is my personal inventory um so yeah it's it's super handy and you get those functions by having something called a crystalline aura and you can get that in the store um, and what it does is it makes teleporting free. It does all kinds of really good stuff. Uh, so 30 day crystalline aura, it costs 420 blue crystals. Now these crystals uh, are earnable in game. 
So you don't actually have to spend money on getting this crystalline aura. Oh, here, I'll keep the pointer steady so you can see what uh, it does for you. And um, it's it's pretty handy. So you can earn that money in game to to pay for the this buff that you get or you don't have to use it at all. That's OK, too. So um, but a lot of the things that you buy in the game can be bought. Anything with blue crystals can be purchased um, with like earning it in game. Now, the things that are yellow crystals only, those are the premium currency items. Um, so they have those as well. It is a free to play game, but they have to make their money somehow. So, um, and I, I happen to think that the skins are of such high quality. It's really nice. Like, oh no, oh no. Help, help, help. Oh, whoops, G, okay. I like these environmental things that they have. There's quite a few places where you can go like down a zip line and other things like that. It's quite fun. I, I like that about this game that makes it very different from other MMOs that I've played. So here she's going to jump. And that was not a horrible jump. Let's see how this jump is going to go. Oh, no, no. Scramble, scramble. <laughs> That's funny. So I found where are we going? Oh, take this okay. and go up. That Totoiki is a bit big. I might change her pet to something else, maybe a cat or something. Um, but anyway, we'll see how, how it functions. It's very cute. So let's go up here and see what we got. Oh, scrolly thing. You found it. I guess that's a way to prevent wear and tear, you know? Like float it so it's not like touching the ground. Oh no! Don't get pinned! Dude! <gasps> Morpheus, no! Oh my. What is that? Oh my god. Do I need to kill that? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's kill the thing. Okay, and then you also have a specialty skill in the middle, which I haven't actually talked about yet. Let's do our R. Go, go, go. Can I? I'm trying. There we go. You have multiple health bars at the top that's really common with Korean games. Uh, this is from South Korea, this game, obviously. And, uh, well, maybe not obviously until I tell you it is. But anyway, you can use her skill. Uh, I haven't tried these yet. Z. But they are like ultimate skills. And then we'll do X and then Z again, maybe. Eh. Um, but as you normally each each class has like a different way of earning points or mana points on that uh, six let's go uh, let's see e r oops I keep forgetting to hold r whoops that didn't work out very well did it a s w uh, l no e sorry I can't even I don't even know my letters apparently. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I apologize for that. Oh, well, we sorted it. It's fine. And, and the wand glows. Did you see that? Like it has like tiny sparklies on it. That's cool. But, uh, I kind of wish they were a tiny bit more overt, more glittery rather than like little star star shines, but it's okay. It's all good. So scroll has opened for us. What is it going to do to us? I don't remember this from playing the beta. Honestly, I don't know if this was even in, I felt like. There was a much shorter kind of like combat scene. When the light of destiny reaches the end. Of oh, the that world. looks like Trixion, the like celestial place where you choose your destiny. Yeah. So this is where you choose your class, basically. The winged watcher shows the way to the light of creation. When the chaos of the abyss opens its eyes once again, you will follow the pride of lions to the beginning. So we have a vision of a place. Destiny calls to you. Oh, chosen one. Wow, imbuing us with sparkles. That's so cool. 
All right, let's go. Let's see. Let's pick up this or touch the scroll. Can we? No, nope, we need to talk to Morpheus. Are you all right? <laughs> I can't believe you defeated that huge monster. I knew you were talented, Tenriel. That monster was n like nothing I've ever seen. So ancient and powerful. It must have been a guardian protecting the prophet's treasure. So what was the prophet's treasure? Was it a story about the Ark? So the prophecy was about a lion's pride? I see. The only pride I know of is a place called Prideholm. On the outskirts of Rithramis, protected by the Sacrian Order, there is a small town called Prideholm. Perhaps that's the path you need to take, Tanriel. Tanriel, thanks to you, I've learned a lot. The prophet's treasure was waiting for you all along. To deliver the prophecy of the new beginning of light... Oh, t yeah, okay, sorry. Wrong accenting this, again. This is where we part ways. Oh, wow. But rest assured... We will meet again. Uh-huh. I know we will. But I must go on my solitary way. Bye. I'm going to wiggle my butt at you as well. I find it really silly the way some of the female characters walk. It's like the over-sexualized South Korean thing that they've got going on there. I feel like those people don't have enough sex or something. Like, they have to sexualize everything. I, I, I don't know much about the culture, but I'm thinking, like, why why is it that they're so obsessed with, like, yeah, short skirts and, like, suggestive walking and all that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, oh! Hey! Guess who isn't who we thought he was, hmm? Yeah, and he's sexy, too. Well, then. <laughs> Better get to it. Right. Okay, so we know more than our character knows right now. So he's kind of a bad dude. He's not he's not a like holy dude. <laughs> he's a he's an anti holy dude. Um but anyway, so uh some of the things kind of bother me, like the run animation, especially for the mage class, is just like really are you serious? So this is where you start if you skip that uh, section. You have, I believe you do have the upgraded weapon that you get that as you come out of there. Let's see, what is this box? Okay, we have, oh, uh, our Thetanian Engineer's Goggles. Okay, do we, oh, these are, oh, hey, this is a, a skin actually. I don't know what we do with that. I think, I don't know if these go into like, I hope they go into like a treasury of skins, kind of like WoW has, but I don't think they do. Anyway, we're going to run off this, like she runs like a girl. I mean, like a playground, like, you know, I don't know. I don't like the way she runs. It's just very like... Almost like it's it's like a caricature run, and I feel like they do a disservice to women who are strong and ath, you know, athletic, agile. Um, when they make them run like that, <laughs> it looks so stupid. However, the game itself is extremely fun to play, so I can ignore little things like that, you know. and the rest of the village eagerly await your arrival at the cathedral. In that case, I best not also, look at the outfits way. of every single person. They're all dressed a little bit differently. They're wearing different colors. The clothing, the fabric on the clothing is so responsive to physics. You know, it's kind of great. Oh, whoops. Oh, sorry, dudes. I like that. He shoots off one thing when they're already gone. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my god, that was funny. Okay, let's go here. Nice. Okay, Armin. Let's go. Let's do the thing. Thank you for saving me. Are you headed to Prideholm? Might be. Follow this road and you'll arrive in Prideholm. Why don't you ride with me to the village in my wagon? Sure, why not? So we get in, and he doesn't get in with us. Oh, no, he... Oh, that's right, he's driving. Okay, so there's something about this horse you gotta know. This horse is... 
the god of horses. I will show you what I mean, and just enjoy him while you can, okay? This horse is fantastic. So he's looking for the Ark. I hear there is a stone tablet in this village that contains secrets about the Ark. Uh huh. A coincidence. Perhaps mm -hmm. we could travel together and see. I'd love a follower, but we're being like bombarded by fire. Holy fuzzy cats! Okay, so horse is hoofing it literally. We're almost dying, being thrown out of the cart. Look at this stuff. Look at this horse pulling stuff, jumping gaps. Holy fuzzy cats. This is the god of horses, I swear. And then we get to this absolutely painful scene where we lose the divine horse. I really, really would like a thing of like no digital animals were harmed in the making of this game. Because I feel sad that that horse died. I'm like, no. It was such a good horse. Oh, such no. a strong, incredible, divine steed. Sadness is real. Okay, so do we like this pet? I don't know. Let's see. I can try another pet. Let's Watch see. See, this, the these are the important things in these games. You have to figure out your, your pet. Do we want a bunny? Hello? Where are you? Oh, there you are. That's kind of cute with her. It's got little red bags as well. Maybe we'll take the bunny. Uh, if you want to see the cats, let's see. Where is pets? Here, I'll bring out a white cat. There's the white cat. Very cute. Do we have a cat wearing red? I think we do. We have Jasper is wearing red. We also have Nero who has red accents. Let's pick out Jasper. Summon. There's Jasper. See, Jasper kind of matches her outfit as well. Oh, whoops, that's inconvenient. Um, so I don't know who we should take. Maybe we take Bunny, actually. Bunny is kind of cute. I kind of bought I bought the, uh, the, that other one for this character, but it doesn't really seem to go. And it feels like it's too big for her, because she feels quite, like, light and dainty, and maybe she needs a smaller pet. But pets are really important. So you get this pet in the game. You don't need to buy it. Um, it's free. And basically pets uh, pick up loot for you. Loot and gold and stuff like that. So that's what they function as. They also have an ability. Okay. Uh, they do... Let me look at our pet real quick. Can we see that? I think if we look at pets... Oh yeah, here it is. So we have plus 5% HP and we also have crit plus 10%. And at the pet trainer, you can actually change... Or maybe even you can change them in that menu. Let's just kill stuff. Hold on. Um, and see if we can... Is that it? Hello? Are we done? Are we done, Armin? You're looking around? Here. I think that was the last of them. Thank goodness. My goodness. Are you not hurt? No, of course not. I don't want to stay in the dress. That's a relief. I've never seen such suspicious people around Pride Home before. My word, where did the time go? The people must be waiting for me. The Ark's relic is in the cathedral. Please come find me once you arrive at the cathedral. All right, so let's see. We're going to go up here. I'm going to outrace you, Armin. Sorry about that, bud. Isn't this lovely? They say this is a small town, but it's like built up like a massive city. There's some town over there and there as well. I wonder if they're like tiny towns or if they're like one big town. I don't know. All right, so we're going up this way. God, that sound. I'm not a fan. Gotta say I'm not a fan of that particular sound effect. Wish it was a little bit quieter. If I turn down the sound, it'll turn down the sound on all the sound effects and not just that one. So I'm not really sure what I should do. This is kind of cool, like where you have people shuffling in and you are actually part of the crowd. You cannot go around them, by the way. There's like, um, they have force field technology where they don't allow people to pass. But Armin is going to do his thing. He's going to make his magic. He the pain is gone. He healed this woman. Hooray. Thank you so much. That's nice. Incredible. He has so By the gods, Anna's wounds have healed. Yeah, good oh, stuff. It's you again. But look You're at here. the floor. The, the reflections it is so beautiful. And look at the windows. Is, <gasps> is this not gorgeous? So the shadows you. cast on the floor. I the light rays. Hello, this everyone. Also seeks the yeah, I'm looking for the Ark. Let's go. Oh. oh. So? Mm -hmm. 
Then we have much to discuss. All right, we can go forward now. Is this the tablet? Indeed. This tablet contains all we know of the Ark passed down for generations. In theory, anyway. As you can see, part of it is missing. Such a large portion. I wonder what happened to it. The tablet was already like this when it arrived at the cathedral. I think it went missing during the transport. Our attempts to recover it have failed. So guess what we get to do? Hmm? We get to find the thing. All right. So, yeah, let's talk to uh, Varut. Portion of the stone tablet disappeared. Even the old people in the old chapel at that time don't remember exactly what happened. Hmm, we must be missing something. Why don't you visit the tavern and talk to the locals here? I'll tell one of the monks to prepare a horse so you can look around the town. Thank you so much for protecting Father Armin. All right, so we are going to go outside and uh, get ourselves a mount. That's also important in this game is to get a mount. And um, so there are three horses available. There's white, black, and brown. I need to check which ones I have because I don't remember. Uh, let, let me check the mount tab here. Oh, wait. I th oh, we can't check it, can we? That's naughty. Hello, adventurer! Um, Father Verut said to expect you. He wants you to take one of these horses. You can get to your destination faster riding a horse. Also remember that you can use your mount's unique skill if you press spacebar while riding. Mostly it's a jump. It's like a teleport-ish or dash. Choose whichever one you like. I think I don't have the black one yet. I think I have white and brown. But you need three characters to get all three of them. And they also give you some money here and roster XP, combat XP. I love that we're getting combat XP for choosing a horse. This is great. Complete. Okay, so we have a horse. Let's go ahead and right click it to add it to our mount inventory. Make sure, I hope I got the right one. Anyway, um, yeah, okay. So now we have the brown horse, white horse, and black horse. Um, and I also bought this naughty little thing. I'm going to show this to you and see if you like it. This is this elg, Vernise elk. Um, it is beautiful and it, and it jumps so nicely. Watch the way it jumps. Boop. Oh, whoops. <laughs> that was such a bad thing. However, let's, let's get a horse real quick. Let's see. Can I, can I summon the horse? So the horse, I'm not really crazy about the way the horse jumps. It has this like, it almost like trips over itself. It's such a strange thing. But the elg uh, has a much more graceful kind of like jumpy bits. Here, let's go and show you the, the elg. Woo! It's like this continuous motion. I love that. But anyway, uh, you do get a mount for free. I think... I love this elg so much. Uh, I don't know. I usually like to get unique mounts for each of my characters, so I'm gonna see and wait and see what they have in the in the in the store and and also in the game because I think there are mounts and there are definitely mounts in the game that you can buy for precious resources and stuff like that. So um, I'm gonna take the elg, I think, and uh, that. But we also have these three horses. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that as a favorite because I haven't done that yet. But um, yeah, so that's our first quest done. We need to go to the Tavern Keeper Naria, but I'm gonna have to leave that to another episode because I wanna get this one out to you as soon as possible. I hope you're enjoying this, um, this game. I know it's not what I usually play on the channel, but it is what I usually play in my spare time because I like this kind of uh, isometric look. I like the ARPG quick s swiftness of spells. I, I enjoy this kind of combat and stuff like that. So I hope you're going to enjoy this. Please let me know. Uh, let me know how you feel about this and uh, if you want to see more. But I am going to plan to do quite a few videos on this and I hope you will enjoy them. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.